Can you name the top five KPIs you use to evaluate ad efficiency? All right, well, I'll start with the obvious, um, ACOS or ROAS. Um, whether you like it or not, it is just great at telling, kind of telling you if something's running hot or maybe needs some more spend or, or higher bids or something. Like it is a very valuable metric. Um, people try to knock it these days, but it's, it's a good one. So that's number one. Uh, number two is conversion rate. I think if you, if you think about those buckets Destiny was listing, category, branded, auto, competitor, I want to know what my conversion rate is for each one of those buckets. And that's the way that I look at them. Yeah, I'm looking at ACOS, but like for competitor, my ACOS is going to be awful. Conversion yeah. rate is what is interesting to me. Am I stealing 1% of you know, traffic on my competitor's page? That's really interesting to me. I don't care what it costs. Yeah. Um, okay, so I go ACOS or ROAS, then conversion rate. I think this one's kind of lame, but um budget pacing this one's big for me like for some people yeah. they like to say i'm going to spend this much every single day uh throughout the course of the month like evenly i'm more of there's days and weeks that are going to be hot and i want to be i want to be on when the customers are there so budget pacing is a really important one to me if i'm if i if a, an event is 3 weeks into the month and I've already spent the majority of my budget three weeks in, well, then I'm going to miss out on that event. All right. So I want to maximize that yep. spend towards that time. So budget pacing is a really important one to me. Um, number four, um, I hate to say it, but impressions, like if uh, impression you're, share is mine. Impression share. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess impression share. You, you go deep on impression share. I'll just say impressions slash spend are my four and five. One of those, because like, if I'm looking at spend and impressions over the last year, over the last five lifetime of all my campaigns or just last 30 days, that is telling me if I'm, you know, what's going on with the, uh, with the category that I'm in, what's going on with the customers, what's going on with competitors, am yeah. I high, low, like it's a great way to just gauge what's going on. So those are my five. What about you? Conversion rate's probably my most important. I think one thing I'll preach over and over, Amazon is the highest purchase in intent model in e-commerce. So if someone clicked on your ad, they're interested in purchasing. If they didn't convert, that's on you. And I think that can be sometimes a scapegoat for advertisers, but conversion rate, I mean, they clicked on your ad. They saw your image and they were very interested in your product and then they left the listing and I, yes. I think that's super important to understand with Amazon advertising. So I would say conversion rate, hundred um, percent. CPC is probably a secondary most important for me because like a lot of people don't realize the correlation in CPC and ACOS. Um, for example, one of the slides we showcased was when CPCs were like 45 cents, it's really easy to be profitable because it's so cheap that you can have a really low conversion rate, but the people that did convert were so cheap, it's fine. So like understanding that if you have a $5 cost per click and that's how much it costs you to get traffic, it's going to be a lot harder to, you know, be profitable. So conversion rate, CPC, a cost for as impression share is one of my new favorite metrics for just market share and like budget pacing things. Like Kyle said, realizing how much more budget you're going to need to win a keyword is super important. And beyond that, I mean, I don't like looking at click-through rate as a variable for success. I think it varies way too much and it's a variable somewhat out of our control. It's based on the image quality. I think I could run an account with just those metrics. Mm -hmm. I don't CPC think is good, but it's also, it's a little bit out of your control, right? Like if you want to compete, then you need to compete. Like it's, it's regardless of what's going on with CPC. That's why one... I like it, that statement right there. You know how many times brands are like, I'm not getting impressions. I'm like, well, your bid's 17 cents. Yeah. Like, Do you want to compete? Well, my ACOS is high. I'm like, well, you have to bid $3 and you're not converting well enough. Like, mm -hmm. but I agree. Um, the, the last thing I would throw on there, because I have to plug PackView here, is share of voice insights. Um, it's not like a specific metric, but at a certain point, your efficiency with ACOS, ROAS, conversion rate, all that stuff is going to maximize. You're going to hit this point where you really want to start tracking what is my organic placement? What is my sponsored placement? 
day over day, week over week, month over month, over time. How am I competing with my competitors in this category? And PacView gives gives you this trend line of like, okay, wow, I'm I'm actually I've decreased my spend, and now my organic and my sponsored placements are decreasing. All sorts. There are infinite possibilities of what can happen with it, and that is not a specific metric, but I do use that for measuring like big picture. Are we impacting the account the way that we want? Yep. All those others are kind of like living within the fishbowl. And I like the share a voice one because you're, you're pulling out and you're looking at the whole category. 